last video, I showed you how to derive the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, and it is pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the concentration of A minus over the concentration of HA. So we're talking about a conjugate acid-base pair here, HA and A minus. And for our problem, HA, the acid, would be NH4 plus. And the base, A minus, would be NH3, or ammonia. So the first thing we need to do, if we're gonna calculate the pH of our buffer solution, is to find the pKa, all right? And our acid is NH4 plus. So let's say we already know the Ka value for NH4 plus, and that's 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. To find the pKa, all we have to do is take the negative log of that. So the pKa is the negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So let's get out the calculator and let's, uh, let's do that math. So the negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10 is going to give us a pKa value of 9.25 when we round. So pKa is equal to 9.25. So we're gonna plug that in to our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation right here. So the pH of our buffer solution is equal to 9.25 plus the log of the concentration of A minus, our base. Our base is ammonia, NH3, and our concentration in our buffer solution is 0.24 it's molar. So we're gonna write 0.24 here. And that's over the concentration of our acid. That's NH4 plus, and our concentration is 0.20. So this is over 0.20 here, and we can do the math, right? So let's find the log, the log of 0.24 divided by 0.20. And so that is 0 0.080, so 9.25 plus 0 0.08 is 9.33. So the final pH, or the pH of our buffer solution, I should say, is equal to 9.33. So remember, we're adding, we're adding 0 0.005 moles of sodium hydroxide, and our total volume is 0 0.50. So if we divide moles by liters, that'll give us the concentration of sodium hydroxide. 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.50 is 0 0.01 molar. So that's our concentration of sodium hydroxide. And since sodium hydroxide is a strong base, right, that's also our concentration of hydroxide ions in solution. So this is our concentration of hydroxide ions, 0 0.01 molar. So we're adding a base, and think about what that's going to re react with in our buffer solution. So our buffer solution has NH3 and NH4+. Plus. The base is going to react with the acid, so hydroxide is going to react with NH4+. Plus. So let's go ahead and write out the buffer reaction here. So NH4+, plus. ammonium is going to react with hydroxide, and this is going to go to completion here. So if NH4+, plus donates a proton to OH-, minus, OH minus turns into H2O, right? So we're gonna make water here. And if NH4 plus donates a proton, we're left with NH3, so ammonia. All right, let's think about our concentrations. So we just calculated that we have now 0 0.01 molar concentration of sodium hydroxide. For ammonium, right, that would be 0 0.20 molar. So 0 0.20 molar for our concentration. And for ammonia, it was 0.24. So let's go ahead and write 0.24 over here. So if 0 0.01, if we have a concentration of hydroxide ions of 0 0.01 molar, all of that is going to react with the ammonium, right? So we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose all of this concentration here for hydroxide. And, uh, and that's going to neutralize the same amount of ammonium over here. So we're gonna be left with, right, this would give us 0 0.19 molar for our final concentration of ammonium, right? Hydroxide, we would have zero after it all reacts. 
And then the ammonium, since the ammonium turns into the ammonia, right, if we lose this much, we're going to gain the same concentration of ammonia. So over here we put plus 0.01. So the final concentration of ammonia would be 0.25 molar. And now we can use our henderson hasselbalch equation, right? So let's go ahead and plug everything in. So pH is equal to the pKa. We already calculated the pKa to be 9.25. And then plus, plus the log of the concentration of base, right? That would so be NH3. So the concentration of 0.25. So this is 0.25 molar for our concentration over the concentration of our acid, right? And that's ammonium, so that's over 0.19. So this is all over 0.19 here. So if we do that math, let's go ahead and get out the calculator here and let's do this calculation. Log of 0.25 divided by 0.19 and we get, we get 0.12. So 9.25 plus 0.12 is equal to 9.37. All right, so let's get a little bit more room down here and we're done. The pH is equal to 9.25 plus 0.12, which is equal to 9.37.